What's up? I'm Jason here. Uh, I'm going to start calling this stuff uh, uh, cheap filmmaking because that's pretty much what I do. Um, I've been putting together all these little like mini mini shorts for a little while now with the kids and we're having a ton of fun with it. And so each time we're kind of up in the ante but without upping the budget. And so uh, I don't know, it's been real fun and lots of friends and family have been asking me how do I do it. And um, this is it. Not that anything I've done has ever been amazing or cool or, you know, beyond awesome quality. Uh, I just kind of get lucky with some of the things that I find, the tips and tricks that I find online, and it works out pretty cool. So uh, the latest thing was um, the girls want to, they want to do like a Star Wars short. And I was totally down with that because how are you going to call yourself an indie filmmaker or, you know, just even a fan if you haven't put together your own Star Wars short. So I was on board with that. I think it's pretty cool. And so one of the things uh, moving forward was, uh, as I was talking to the girls about it, was the, the lightsaber's got to look good. I mean, you can almost, you know, even on phone apps, you can get some pretty awesome looking um, lightsabers. And you could buy really expensive lightsabers uh, that you don't want to break or really kind of hack away at each other with um, and then you know even even when we got good lightsabers when we bought lightsabers uh, the sounds were like not coming through on the audio and it still didn't really look as like loud and popped as well on camera when we were done so if we wanted it to look better than the stuff we made before we really had to update that and so um, I built some our own lightsaber hilts here. So this is what <laughs> this is what we're using uh, in the garage here. So I built this. You can this is all kind of stuff that you can get at Lowe's, just small stuff. So a few bucks goes into this, and after some welding school skills, some gluing skills, some metal trimming skills, you can make that right there. Um, now one thing that we have learned is. You really got to build these things stronger than what you think you have to. Because I felt like these were pretty much bulletproof. And after uh, myself and my friend Andy started hacking away at each other, we found the flaws in all of our builds. And so we're going to have to kind of, if we go forward with this, we're going to have to kind of rebuild and re-strengthen a lot of these. But um, we make these with PVC pipes that you can easily kind of take off. So that way you can film just the hilt. And you can you know, film the hilt, have it start on. <laughs> Make the, that come out, and then when you go into fight mode, you just slide that back in there, and you're ready to uh, hack at it. So there's one. This was the other one that we used. A little more detail on this, and this actually has a, a car axle, a part cut off, a part cut off, the part cut off of a car axle that uh, we added onto the bottom. Now this one's a little heavier, but it actually the balance is really good. <laughs> so. We weren't too afraid of that being heavy, but yeah, we just got some aluminum stuff. We built it on there. Uh, it looks a little rough because we were still kind of tinkering on this. Uh, we're gonna do some finishing up to make it look uh, make it look snazzy before we do any like anything. We really want to stamp our name on. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, let's see here. Uh, that's pretty much it. So talking about what we did film was Andy came over. Uh, uh, me and him has had a few beers and kind of choreographed our own thing. That's one thing that I think was harder. The hardest was kind of choreographing a fight. Um, you know, just filming two dudes just kind of hacking away at each other. Dinner, that wasn't going to work. Uh, and so we actually went step by step. Like we made a dance of all of our stuff and then rehearsed it, rehearsed it, rehearsed it until it really started feeling good. Uh, so... I guess it would pay dividends to actually watch those videos on, um, you know, there's guys, there's super fans, there's an actual like competition based lightsaber form combat out there. So I think it would be hooves of someone who's wanting to make, even at the cheapest, lowest, most fun level, it'd be hooves of you to watch those and actually learn the forms of lightsaber combat. Cause there's actually forms. It's not just, you know, they don't just kind of, hack at it there's there's elegant ways to do it and it actually looks amazing when you adapt those those movements the forms and kind of choreograph something from that so it'd take a little bit of time and especially if you got like 
I'm thinking dance experience, marching experience, like military, DNC, anything like that where you're used to knowing how many steps or counts are in a step or something. Uh, you could put together something really awesome. Of course, minus the whole acrobatic part, the super crazy jumps. I mean, obviously, unless you got a budget per se, uh, you're not going to be able to kind of throw that stuff in there. But um, just kind of ground based stuff, uh, you can make it look really, really good, I think. I mean, if what me and Andy did in one night, uh, I think if we took, you know, any more time, maybe a week or so, to make a bigger sequence, I think it'd be awesome. But um, so Andy came over, we filmed that. It was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, we had a lot of fun with it, and um, then it went into edit mode. Uh, we have some green screens, uh, just green screen fabric that I bought from b and I think, uh, fairly cheap. Uh, we didn't have the stands, though. The, you know, we're, we're filming the uh, project uh, Gone to Texas right now, and so our stands for the green screens are at the, sh the, sh the shop the area where we're filming that at. So we just had these green screens that we had to use like seed clamps and tape and other clamps to clamp up along the walls in my garage. But um, we got it as tight as possible and it worked out pretty good. Um, so we put a just a still from uh, Solus, the planet Solus that we found off the internet as a background there. And uh, then we just filmed this on the green screen doing our choreographed uh, laser sword fight. And then... Um, uh, we put it into I did I did the green screen work in Photoshop. That's the most I'm just kind of familiar with I know that you can do it better in After Effects, but I use Photoshop for the green screen and it turned out pretty good um, Of course Andy's big head would go up above the green screen and leave the green screen And so I had to do a lot of mask work frame by frame to make sure we kind of cut that out and that kind of looks the sloppiest so Lessons learned going into the next thing. We're going to make sure a hundred percent. We are covered within the realm of the green screen We're not going to blow out of the green screen somewhere and that's something I learned I got to Texas, but we were in <laughs> We were in the garage and we were pretty limited. So I knew there was going to be some issues there um, But we made do um, uh, The bottom of the screen, you know the problem with masking on um, a premiere is you know you can't really go below the way that the framework is built in here you can't really mask anything too far than the bottom of the screen and so when i did that you'll see that i brought the the, the masking down as far as i could but the, the very bottom of it there's still like a haze that the that cut out our movements so when you watch that you'll know what i'm talking about you're like oh man that sucks like yeah i could probably do it better on After Effects, and so as we go on, I'll try to learn green screen on After Effects to hopefully get a better, better deal there. But on After Effects is where I did the um, the lightsabers, and uh, that stuff looked pretty good. Uh, I did that with a plugin called Sabers. Um, super easy. I mean, it's way better than anything. Everyone uh, in in the past, I've done it just by masking in uh, like Premiere or Sony Vegas, and it looks all right i mean it's not i mean you're having to mask the whole corners of it and there's some guys that are really good at creating a mask of a lightsaber and following the object every frame making it look really good but um sabers is super easy it's plug and play it already kind of does uh the what is it, the fade or you know the the drag you get from all of that stuff and so it does pretty awesome with that um so yeah green screen we filmed it did the green screen uh lightsabers now something that i went back i put it on facebook so all my friends and family you people watching this had already kind of seen the the finished product but i've took it back now uh and did some uh some color correction so it looks a little bit better like we don't pop out from the uh, Andy and I don't pop out from the background so much uh, as bad. Uh, that's one of the that's one of the problems with green screen is like, even if the green screen is cut perfectly, like the people are like full color, vibrant, and then you know what's behind them is a totally different shade, totally different tint. And so how, one of the ways I found out the to fix that is just with the color correction on top of both of those layers. 
and it kind of helps blend it in, make it look a little more realistic. Now, if we could uh, animate, if I had the time and budget to animate the background, obviously that would completely immerse us and it would look awesome, but this was just me and Andy with some beers messing around, so that's why you get what you get. Um, so yeah, that was kind of the last piece of the bubble. Oh yeah, and, and the sound. Uh, the sound I got from, uh, oh no, what's his name? Hang on here. From uh, Mahler Cosplay, Mahler Cosplay on YouTube. So subscribe to him. He's got tons of subscribers. He knows what he's doing, but I, he's done a good job of um, isolating a lot of sounds from lightsabers, and so I was able to kind of just pick and choose, drop in what I want there. So yeah, Mahler Cosplay. Of course, I use Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, and um, Sabers, uh, the plugin from Sabers from. Uh, video copilot so there you go there's all the folks all the awesomeness and um, yeah that's it